Welcome to this exclusive episode of Corporate Chanakya with India's number one business author, Dr. Radha Krishna Pillai. So, welcome to this podcast. As promised, we will be delivering 50 special videos of Corporate Chanakya, and today is the 50th video. But the special thing is, for all our dear readers, today we are shooting an exclusive podcast with Radha Sir. So, welcome to this podcast. So, how did you get this idea to write Corporate Chanakya? Could you please tell our readers? Sure. For all the readers and listeners, the story goes back uh, almost, uh, uh, I would say around 14 years ago, when I was doing my research and studies on Arthashastra. And I used to write as a columnist in the Times of India group. Mm. There used to be a paper called as Mumbai Mirror. And I remember I had gone for an event that had called me as a chief guest to speak on Chanakya. Okay. And some people approached me and said, no, you speak very well, can you write a book on Chanakya? Wow. I said, who are you? I know how to write because I've been writing. They said, we are Jaco publishers. I said, wow, I've been reading your books. So they, are you serious? They yeah, are very serious. And I remember Ashwin Bhai, who is the chairman of uh, Jaco Group, publishers, Akash and Sharma Ji. The three people came and then they told me they were going to write a book on Chanakya. And that's how the journey started. I say very simply, it is by the demand of the publishers that my book Corporate Chanakya came out. And I always thank them. Sir, in your workshops, you mentioned that research is very important. So, as a first-time author, how was your research journey? Oh, I've been doing research on Arthashastra, Kautilya Arthashastra and Chanakya's work for almost 20 years now. Wow. And, you know, believe me, if the book is doing well, it is because of the research content. Unfortunately, we don't do too much research on what we call as Indology or Indian wisdom or Indian knowledge. I had gone to Kerala. Chinmaya Mission, Chinmaya International Foundation. I studied the whole Arthashastra, 6000 Sutras. I did my MA in Sanskrit and I realized one thing, so much wealth of knowledge. So it's a very simplified way. And many people ask me, what is the reason for the success of this book? Is it branding? Is it marketing? Is it a good publisher or distribution? I said, all of them are important, but without research, nothing can do uh, to this extent that the book has done. So as you said, no. In this particular country, all of us should do a lot of research on Indian wisdom. And believe me, there are many books to be written by all of you also on this particular subject. So, Chanakya is from the ancient wisdom. So, how does this uh, you know, apply as a relevance in the corporate world today? So, remember the corporate world that we have today is very different from the business activity that used to be done in Chanakya's times. Mm -hmm. Chanakya wrote the Artha Shastra for the sake of a king who is also a leader. And he's almost like a monarch. Yes. In today's world, the whole systems have changed. We are living in a globalized world. We are living in a world which is full of technology. And we are using internet, Wi-Fi. All those were not there. But the principles of leadership management doesn't change. So what I have tried to do is take the ancient wisdom and adapt it to modern day application. It's like yoga. Yoga is for health, whichever generation. But today, if you look at yoga, has also got evolved. Mm. Today, we have, you know, chair yoga, we have office yoga. <laughs> so, of course, you know, because we are so stressed out, we don't have time. So, it's okay. As long as you're doing it the right way for the benefit of health, yoga can be interpreted in a modern format. The same thing I've done with Chanakya. Chanakya's wisdom, his uh, whole knowledge, I've tried to adapt in the corporate world business and also for startups and multinational companies. So, what all obstacles did you face, you know, while writing the first book? The first book, anybody who writes will have something called as the major problem of writer's block. Okay. So, if somebody has got married for the first time, <laughs> it's a problem that you don't know what's going to come next. So, I think everybody goes through it. Mm -hmm. And for me, that was the experience of even working with a publisher for the first time. So, I'll tell you, I, I won't call it an obstacle, but maybe something which was unknown to me. When I wrote this book, I had sent to my publishers. Can you believe they sent me back and said, these all corrections are required. I corrected, sent them back, they again sent me back. So, I never knew this is a process called editing. Hmm. So, what you write is not a book. That's only called the manuscript. Then the editor team, which is sitting at the publisher's house, they will have to do the correction typesetting, they have to do proofreading and only then it goes for printing. I never knew all these things. Believe me, when Corporate Chanakya was written, it was going between me and my publishing house, Jayco, almost 32 times. Oh. I got so frustrated saying that, <laughs> but now 
I realized what the editors told me that, that you know we want to bring out the best quality book. Yes. Like if you shoot a movie, the editing process is equally important. Correct. So you may shoot for three hours, but finally that movie comes for let's say one hour. It's a lot of work that happens. So a lot of cutting, chopping, making the language better. So this is the only challenge that I had. Number one, I never knew how to write a book, even though I used to write articles and other things. But I'm happy that these challenges have taken me to the next level, and the book is still among the bestseller list. So corporate Chanakya has been written by India's prominent publishers, Jaco Publishing House, and Akash sir, his father, has been a phenomenal support to you. So could you describe that journey? Yeah. So let me first tell you about Jaco. Yeah. J I J A I C O. It means J Company. It was actually formed during the independence era of India. Oh. So they are also celebrating 75 years of Indian. Independence, as we are saying, you know, mm-hmm. Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav. Correct. Right. In fact, Jayco is also celebrating 75 years of their own company. Oh. In fact, I would say it's our company. Yes. <laughs> and believe me, you know, Jayco has been so instrumental. I am sure most of you have some Jayco book in your house. Mm-hmm. There are more than 2,000 titles, oh. and they are so respected. Third generation business. They have evolved over a period of time. The kind of a quality that they bring in. What I like about Jayco is that very simple, very humble people. Even though they are the prominent. I know publishers of India, and I work with all prominent publishers globally, right. and I respect each of them. But Jayco has been like the people who found me as an author and made me an author. Mm-hmm. So I'm always indebted to them. But what I really like about them, in spite of so many years, I still continue to write for them, and they want me to write for them even now. Mm-hmm. So three things about Jayco: yes. number one, very simple, humble. Second is that they want excellent distribution system. So the books are available in all the airports, bookstores, railway stations, even on footpath. So that means Jayco is actually able to penetrate into every particular city and village of India. That's the distribution. And the third and the most important part of it is that Jayco has got the biggest respect in the publishing industry. So you know they are there for a long term. They are respected. So I have been fortunate. that i'm working with jayco and the publishing house and their team for so many years so and the best part is corporate chanakya is written in 11 languages and i have seen that the regional response has been nominal so how do you feel about this so i remember this after corporate chanakya which was originally written in english yes became translated uh, you know before that they called me and they said we like to translate you also into 10 regional languages 10 regional indian languages yes. so i said i don't know how to write in any other language maybe a little bit of hindi or a marathi but bring out a book is not my cup of tea mm. so they immediately said don't worry we have a translating department wow so they actually translated to english is my thing after that you know hindi marathi bengali assami oriya gujarati so many different languages and the good news is that in each of the language the book is a best seller absolutely so i feel proud that you know it is available for regional the masses and also the classes who read in english wow and i think when you have diversity it creates more curiosity among reader, readers as well so spm group has been the major pillars of support could you describe that journey yeah. as well so if you look at the corporate chanaka you will see a logo over here yeah and all the story about spm group has been given in the book you can read the book the introduction so i'll tell you what uh, there is a friend of mine his name is bulraj cheda He is actually the director of SPM Group. What does SPM stand for? S stands for Shanti Bai, P for Praveen Bai, M for Mauji Bai. There are three brothers, and Murli Raj is my friend. His father is Mauji Bai. So all the children now they are into the directorship position, and they have multiple businesses. They are based out of Mumbai. I remember this, you know, that uh, they wanted to support me and my research. Believe me, friends, the research also requires funding. Yeah. so i remember those days when i was studying on chanakya finance was a major problem i think as a married person you have to take care of your families also mm-hmm. unfortunately i was not getting the kind of a support that was required because many people used to consider indology chanakya is fine mm-hmm. but how will you support your family and i remember uh, during those days i had clearly got an opportunity to migrate to us oh. and they were paying me very well for my research work And I told this to Mulraj, this friend of mine, and he asked me, "You know, how much money do you want?" He said, "I want enough money to support my family." He said, "Come to my office," and he said, "You first do what you are good at: research and chanakya." So all the book, that four and a half years of research, 
was supported by SPM Guru. That's why when the book came out, I said, you know, this is not Radha Krishnan Pillai's book. This is a Radha Krishnan Pillai's book published by Jayco's book. And also, it is SPM Group's book. So I want to tell you that SPM Group is something which is a very big support. Uh, and you know the whole directors, the board of directors, be it Rajan Bai, be it you know Pravin Kaka as we call him, all of them phenomenal people. And there are also you know the girls in the group as I call them, you know Deepal, Kinjal. So all of them came together and make sure that the book is promoted very well. So I dedicate this book, of course, to Jayco, to SPM Group, and all the team members that you will see in this particular video who have been behind the show but making this book a really grand success. So that's. Thank you to the SPM group. Wow. So, millions of copies have been sold and we have variety of readers from across the country. So, you must be getting a lot of emails, messages of how this book has transformed their life. So, sir, can you share two, three experiences that touched your heart? Thousands of them, as you said. You know, it's not just about one year. It's been there for almost 12 years, years now. now yes. 2010, year in 2022. Minus two years of pandemic, think about it that 10 years actively we are promoting it. And I've been fortunate that I have traveled 22 countries because of this one book, Corporate Chanakya. So I've been benefited. I remember this that before Chanakya, uh, I started studying and before Corporate Chanakya came out, I never had an office. So I used to take the help of my friends like Mulla and use his office. But today I have my own office thanks to Corporate Chanakya. So my first experience has been that Corporate Chanakya has benefited me. Or talking about others, I get varieties of people. I have seen teachers and principals of colleges, vice chancellors of universities telling me that we have read this book and it's a part of our library. I've seen students, I've seen parents, I've seen corporate people, I've seen army people inviting me to give lecture to them. I've seen spiritual gurus. Now think about it, a book can be so successful that even a spiritual guru is influenced by this particular book like a common man. Now coming back to two, three experiences, some of them experiences have been written in the 10th edition. But one of them is basically uh, people have become entrepreneurs because of this particular book. Wow. So they were working and they said, no, I want to become an entrepreneur. So corporate Chanakya is my guide. I have seen people who are in job actually getting promoted because of corporate Chanakya. I have seen employees gifting corporate Chanakya to the bosses and bosses gifting corporate Chanakya to the employees. I have seen parents giving it to their children, children giving it to their parents. So think about it. Can we have such a book that can influence such a big sector of society? I have seen people who actually study this book to attend interviews, to study exams. I have seen students actually doing projects on corporate Chanakya. So I think it's God's grace and thanks to our Indian wisdom that it's coming back in a modern format. So in our university, in the course Masters of Leadership Science MALS, this book is a reference book for all aspiring leaders. Why do you recommend this book for all other universities, library as well? So it is the other way around. Okay. Already most of the universities in India have this book as wow. a reference book. So I usually get a call from them. So very recently I got a call from a national law university. Oh. Where do you teach? I got a call from the National uh, Defense College. So think about they are also universities and they already have it. So if you look at most of the libraries in India, especially in the universities and colleges, they want a lot of Indian wisdom to come in. Mm. And the good part is that thanks again to my publisher, the distribution is there. You can book it online, be it Amazon, be it go to any bookstore, it's always there. So I think the reason why it is reach universities and of course as you said you know in our Mumbai University also CIILS, Chanakya International Institute of Leadership Studies, we have a MLS course, yes. Masters in Leadership Science. With a book on leadership and we teach Chanakya, this is an easy reference book. Yes, yes. Uh, so your personal takeaways while writing this book? So I was not sure <laughs> because you know I was very young at that particular time. So I remember this, I was 37 years old, sorry, 35 years old, not even 37. So I was 35 years old and I started writing it, you know, four years before that. So think about it that a boy or a man, you can say, who is 30, 31 years old is supposed to write on Chanakya. And I had this doubt saying that, you know, can I write on Chanakya? So uh, I said, no, no, I think you should be more mature to write on Chanakya. So my personal experience has been that you know, I was reluctant and almost I said no, even though yes, internally you want to write but you don't have the confidence because you are getting into one of the biggest respected world called becoming an author. So I remember talking to my publisher and saying that do you think I'm capable of writing because well, don't worry about it, you have done enough research. Of course later I did my PhD and all that. Mm. But they said you know, right now 
अदरवाइज वोट इफ यू राइट एट सिक्सटी और एटी यू नॉट एंजॉय द सक्सेस ऑफ द बुक सो आई बीन फॉर्चुनेट दैट आई रोड द बुक आई एम सींग द सक्सेस ऑफ द बुक इन माई लाइफ टाइम एंड द गुड न्यूज इज दैट अ बुक्स रिमेन आफ्टर यू आर गॉन ऑल्सो सो आई एम श्योर दिस विल इम्पैक्ट मेनी जनरेशन टू कम वाह Sir, this book has been praised by an honourable PM. So, could you share that experience as well? I mean, I'm sure it must be like a dream come true. So, that time the PM actually was a CM of Gujarat. Correct. So, I remember it. It's a very funny instance for me. So, what had happened is that there was a friend of mine, and I remember this was this was on 15th of August 2010. and in bombay you know there is a corporate culture and uh, we have this uh, diwali gifting culture <laughs> so one of my friends called me and said my ba- boss told me no, please recommend that we should be giving a different gift this time usually we give sweets mithais or something to eat it's get exhausted in one day or two days maximum so this friend actually had sent me a message that you know my book corporate chanakya has come then he called me to his office i gave him a copy and immediately called me and said my boss liked your concept corporate chanakya because you are businessman so he said you so we like to order it of course uh, they say we want to make a bulk order you would be surprised they ordered 1000 copies wow okay so i was like wow first book and you need 1000 copies like only one demand you should personally autograph the book i said okay what is there in that so i was lucky the first book 1000 copies we autograph and i did not know they said we want to gift it to our clients our well wishers It is later on I came to know that they had a list of the top, uh, I think, two uh, hundred people in India. Wow. So every chief minister, ev- every governor, prime minister, all ministers of all states were in that list. I never knew this. I just signed. I remember it took us five hours to sign thousand <laughs> copies. And afterwards, what happened when people received it, they liked it so much they called up this friend's office and they ordered two copies. Bejo. So again, they bought a thousand copies. Now coming back to what happened is that I got a call. uh and uh, that person was telling me the cm wants to meet you i said who cm bought so you sent a book now that i never sent anybody a book and who is this cm narendra modi from gujarat <laughs> i said acha so of course everybody had heard about him i had met him once in a public meeting and all those things so he has read your book corporate chanakya thanks for gifting he wants to meet you i said uh, okay then i never realized who sent it then i realized that other person must have sent it mm-hmm. so i remember he calling me this was a call that i got on saturday and was supposed to be on monday so we hardly had one day in between and when i went over there he directly called me of course through his office to his house in gandhi nagar so it was like a phenomenal thing and you getting into somebody and the good news i found if you look at the picture it is not just about discussing he had actually read the book made some notations wow and not we will know about it mr modi who is currently the prime minister of india is also an author oh. he has written many books but we don't realize that and he is a lover of books in fact i remember him telling that one person went to him and gave a book and he said he was a, not a very uh, rich person or like pm saab hum aapko kya de sakte i can't give you anything i can only give you this i don't have hire moti to give you I don't have jewels, diamonds, and pearls to give you. And the PM said, you know, getting a book itself is equal to hire moti for me. Wow! So think about it. We actually read the book. We had lot of discussions on many chapters of the book. We almost spent two hours, and I still remember whenever I meet him directly, indirectly, even now, he still remembers the book corporate chanakya. This is so amazing. Sir. And he has promoted this in many places. In fact, he. Actually believes that this book should be part of every education system. He has spoken about it on various public platforms. So I'm fortunate I got a brand ambassador for corporate Chanakya in the name of Narendra Modi ji. Absolutely. So National Startup Day has been announced, and why do you recommend that you know any aspiring entrepreneur or leader should read this book? See, entrepreneurs are on a very lonely journey. Mm. So they don't know what to do, mm. and they have a lot of time in the initial phase. Later on, they become very busy. Correct. and you know unfortunately most of the entrepreneurs in our generation are first generation entrepreneurs very few people have a backing of their parents and also what do you do you don't know the know how of the startups so i guide lot of startups and the first thing i read corporate chanakya mm-hmm. it is given to three parts leadership management and training so there are simple simple chapters like how to recruit how to get funding how to go to a clients and market it so i think it's recommended for every person who wants to be an entrepreneur be it a startup or even if you become a multinational corporate still you read this book because always it's like back to basics mm. 
so when you talk about entrepreneurship team plays a very important role and i'm sure the team has played a very important role even in the journey of corporate chanakya so so can you tell me something about your team yeah yeah in fact it's only team work <laughs> many people give the credit to me i'm happy but let me also tell you please let us share the credit with everybody else so i already spoke in this video about three teams one is yeah. my team yes. second is jaycos team yes. and the third is spm team today in this particular video i request all of you to watch what my team members have done it's a big team of 18 people some of them working remotely some of them working in this office of course you are also part of the team thank you sir uh, so you will see all the team members and how they have been part of the journey so wo bolte hain hindi mein parde ke aage parde ke piche bhi dekho in this 50th video we will be actually introducing you to some of the key team members but remember there are thousands of them who may not be part of the video but still they are part of the journey every particular salesman in a bookshop is responsible for making this book a national bestseller So today we have Radha sir's beautiful better half and strongest support Sureka ma'am ma'am welcome to this podcast Sureka ma'am is a director of two companies Chanakya Anvikshiki Private Limited and Atmadarshan Private Limited and by passion she is a Bharatnatyam teacher Ma'am first of all welcome to this podcast and I want to understand when the book was work in progress how you have supported sir what has been your journey so it's been a very uh, beautiful journey i should say so i can put it in three words it's always been evolving right now also because corporate chanak has completed around 12 years wow. and 15th august uh, this year it will be completing 12 years so it's always been evolving and yeah a uh, lot of patience <laughs> and uh, uh, growing uh, it's always been a learning Correct. so uh, in support that i could give is just by being myself quite so that he goes forward Correct. that's one of the best support that wife can give so that he thinks if i'm blabbering he has to be quiet so mm-hmm. i believe so this is one of the like it's all been evolving journey and a very patience and creativity mm-hmm. okay. that's been the ma'am your personal takeaways from this book okay uh, see this book is very beautifully divided that's what i liked about this book it's been beautifully divided into three parts i believe yes first it is uh, the gives the overall background of uh, who was chanakya mm-hmm. and then he directly takes you to the world of management correct and apart from that it is divided uh, the first part concerns about uh, leadership yes so in the part first leadership what uh, i i like the most is staying at the top mm-hmm. see being leader is not easy after mm-hmm. going to the uh, leader level things work differently for people you you also you are a entrepreneur yourself you know mm-hmm. it's not easy to be a leader on Correct. the top and manage people Correct. so one thing when what and that book chanakya mentions is you have to control your senses Correct. that is very important on the like you should not be floored by your own senses you should know when to control your senses and how to control your people that is the first and second thing is about management and he talks about team work there mm-hmm. the second part mm-hmm. in which he tells about once you have taken up any work you need to complete it correct i can put uh, swami chinman in this word plan out your work and work out your plan that's wow. what he always used to say and this is a summary of that second part correct and the third part i think he uh, talks about how been a boss like mm-hmm. training that's mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. so how at that level how do you connect with the people mm. what are the different types of training that you need to give to mm. the people mm. Mm. and make them and also give them encouragement correct so ethics is what is counted in this mm. ethics and mm. morals is practiced in this book a mm. lot mm. this is what i this is some of my take away from this book okay ma'am lot of women aspire to be directors leaders you know they want to have a position in the top management of the company so why do you recommend this book for aspiring women leaders why do i recommend yes see uh, first of all it's a modern uh, management book okay i think i can put it in this way it's a arthashastra book which is bought in a modern way to the common people hmm. a common people tomorrow cannot go and read arthashastra it contains so many shlokas correct but this book uh, radha krishnan has uh, made a attempt to hmm. build uh, to bring the book in a very simple way hmm. and a management way hmm. so for the um, uh, people who would like to know about what is the content of arthashastra hmm. simple just read this book they'll get uh, give uh, they, they'll get a glimpse of the whole arthashastra in this book okay so that's why they have to read this book okay Ma'am, National Startup Day has been announced. Lot of youth want to be the future leaders of our country. So, why do you recommend them to read this book? And what is your advice for them? 
so for the expiring leaders who want to be tomorrow the you know go in uh, reliance people or people who want to be like tatas mm. first thing you know if vivekananda also said that mm. that uh, in your uh, daily life it is ethics and values that count correct as an entrepreneur so if correct. you want to be a great entrepreneur first thing i believe you should be a very ethical person with a lot of ethics moral values that you know that should be your ground correct that should be your ground and second thing i believe you should always be updated and reading hmm. should not be stuck up in your past that i have done hmm. always keep evolving and reading seeing and now since social media is available you have lot more thing to learn so a uh, youngster should you know always be reading and you know creating more like creativity is the backbone of any entrepreneurship correct how are you different from others hmm. that should be the second thing okay and uh, third thing i believe always uh, be a person's people like be a mm. servant to the people mm. try to uh, like be a boss also also means that you should know how to be a servant also like Correct. serve with the leader like that. that's what i feel it should be that way. okay ma'am any special message for our dear readers so for all the readers who would like to read any great book corporate chanak is one of the go book like you know go and get this book keep it in your library any time you want to rev, uh, refer to anything in your life you're depressed you don't have anything to do you don't know what your boss is saying you don't know what's going in please go to this book and refer there are all the points that you know it's like a, a mini arthashastra for you thank wow. you thank you thank you so much thanks once again Now we have with us the CEO of Chanakya Anushiki Private Limited, Mr. Pranav Patel. So, welcome to this podcast. Thank you. Thank you for calling me. As a CEO, what all learnings did you apply from Corporate Chanakya in this organization? Corporate Chanakya has been the founding book, I would say, for the whole journey which we do at Chanakya Anushiki Private Limited. Because I, coming from a corporate background, got connected to Chanakya when I read Corporate Chanakya myself. In fact, that is what led to me learning the Kautilya Artha Shastra or the Six Thousand Sutras. So, Kapil Chanakya was, in fact, the turning point for me in my life, where I moved out of the corporate career and started working on Chanakya's work, and then which led to obviously my studies uh, uh, further deeper into the whole writings of Kautilya or Chanakya, as we say. And as far as uh, the works of Kapil Chanakya goes, we have been using Kapil Chanakya work uh, in our all the actions that we do. whether it's running courses the kind of coaching that we do or even when we consult our clients we use the principles from corporate chanakya because they all are based on uh, kautilya's writing in the arthashastra so the core sutras are basically seen in terms of how they can be applied in present day corporate or a business context because arthashastra is more written from the point of view of running a country a state correct right so that's that way is but uh, we saw that uh, you know we can call a company or a corporate as a mini state or mini kingdom of the person who is running it mm. and using those principles how can we probably uh, modify them into present day relevance is what we have been working on so corporate chanakya has been the basis of what we do as an activity wow thank you thank you so thank much you. Now we have with us the most dynamic and energetic PR head of Chanakya Anvikshiki Private Limited, Mrs. Meena Lama. She also happens to be an NLP practitioner, environmentalist, and a certified graphologist. Meena ji, welcome to this podcast. Thank you, Vasu, for that beautiful introduction. So I have one question for you. What has been your journey, you know, while promoting corporate Chanakya on social media, in the offline events, and doing all the publicity for this book and with Sir? well thank you very much for that beautiful question actually it is very overwhelming journey very close to uh, each and every member of uh, chanakya family uh, because this book is very special to sir it is very close to sir's heart it is his first child he says you know so uh, as a book and i have very of course emotional journey with this book promoting on social media first of all i feel very honored uh, that i got the opportunity to promote this book because it's an iconic book it has created history and this book is loved not only in india but globally yes. and it is created history now we have completed 12 years of this book correct and through uh, promoting the social media on this book you know uh, one very uh, important thing what i feel you know this book has touched so many lives <coughs> 
so many people have started their entrepreneurial journey yes. uh, with you know this taking this book as their guide so what i will say you know ki uh, what i experienced with that is you know this book is like a gita bible for entrepreneurs this is a, a book of, of reference you know Correct. so very special this and personally also this book has helped me a lot i also masters of leadership science a student completed in 2018 and you know we uh, have learned so many things about chanakya uh, skautilya uh, arthashastra and you know i will just say you know ki this book is uh, uh, important book uh, if you want to learn kautilya arthashastra this you will have glimpse of everything in this particular book Absolutely. so very overwhelming journey i feel very happy to see that people love this book a lot thank you thank you so much also in you know uh, promoting this book on social media so that journey you know jayco team is playing really very important role uh, because i'm connected with them you know uh, throughout these years and akash sir specially and his team helps a lot any time i need anything related to marketing material or anything they're always ready so humble so support you so thank you very much jayco team for everything one last question for you one advice for our dear readers well uh, i think sir has already spoke so many things uh, but what i feel you know we we always say precaution is better than cure Absolutely. and uh, uh, already we have a, a startup a day you know started uh, by a government so there are many youngsters those are coming and you know they want to start their own business Correct. so what i will see you know when we start any journey so in that journey we face many challenges so why not read this book before starting your entrepreneurial journey wow. so you will have this reference so you will come to know what you want to do what you want to you know uh, do in your career of course and also if what you don't uh, have to do i mean correct. what leader should not do no, is no. also mentioned in this particular book correct so first of all many of the time we uh, your experience of people you know say or i should have not done that you know in my past and all so this thing will not happen if you read this book so Absolutely. this will be a great book for your entrepreneurial journey thank you thank you so much a uh, heartiest congratulation to dr radha krishnan pillai and jaco team my name is raj gupta and me and my team very privileged to work with chanakya anvishi private limited and this books definitely inspire me a lot and i am very privileged that i and with my team at grow that media promoted this book on digital platform thank you and congratulation again for this 10th anniversary uh of this awesome book which change millions of people life so i recommend everyone if you haven't read this book must read this book and also check out our digital series we have completed 52 episodes check out our digital series on youtube channel and thank you achanakya anvikshi private limited team dr radha krishnan pillai sir thank you jai koti so last question this book came out on 15th august during independence day one message for a dear readers remember this is azadi ka amrit mahotsav that means it's an independence day with a special uh, significance i personally believe that 74 years is the day we start from 1947 more the british era but india as a country culture and civilization has been existing for thousands of years so yes on this particular day i would request everybody takes an oath a sankalp that you will study indian wisdom because you know india is not just a geographical land it's a country of knowledge and wisdom you know we have a, a santa parampara mm. a legacy of great saints and sages study their life study their literature chanakya is one of them so whatever field you are study your literature study your shastras your scriptures and believe me like it has changed my life it will change your life so on this particular independence day be independent from a foreign rule mentally and take up the rule of self governance through the indian scriptures wow so this was an exclusive episode of corporate chanakya for our dear readers so first of all congratulations on the 10th year anniversary Thank you. This book is available on Amazon, Flipkart, online and all offline stores, be it railways, be it airports and be it other bookstalls. Make sure to like, share and subscribe and do read this book and leave your reviews for us. Thank you so much. Happy Independence Day, Jai Hind.